on the live show just play footy on the facebook site that we have at rugby league coach we've been giving it to some nrl teams about their defensive systems and now i'm going to show you exactly what i mean by some of the things that have been said and go into a bit more depth the first thing i've spoken about is spacings i've got my three defenders here connor phoenix and zach um they're going to walk forward now so they can see them in the screen and my cameraman will tell me when they're in the screen yeah all three all three keep moving forward keep moving forward all three stop there okay now when i coach my teams and what i'm introducing um, i'm introducing to you on the website is to have quite a compressed defense and i'll show you why now when my blue shirt hunger runs in walk in walk in walk in and you walk into him just check they're, they're still on the screen all the time yeah stop there boys as you stay exactly where you are exactly where you are exactly where you are as you can see there We've got three bodies in the tackle there. Sometimes you can do that with two. So, Zach, I'll tell you to come off. Sometimes you can do it with two. So, when I was talking about the Broncos the other day, they were doing it with three, and then after 20 minutes, they came away and did it with two, right? But because their bodies are so tight, as you can see, my blue shirt can't get through there. If they're good tackles, they're good shoulder S-shaped body studs in the ground tackles, which they're not, by the way, but if they were, he'd have real trouble getting through there. What I'm seeing a lot in the NRL and Super League at the minute, though, is this. So, boys, if you can all go back to where we started, and we'll do the same exercise again, but we'll do it slightly differently. That's all right, they can be out the screen now. The cameramen are just too good. This time, you're going to start really wide. So, you go wider, wider. Connor, you go wider, you go the other side of the camera if you need to. Okay, what I'm seeing a lot in the NRL is this kind of width sometimes it's a bit less than this but this is probably the maximum so as you sort of walk in now don't walk in and come in thin just walk in straight from where you are okay so go in Punga. go in go in go in check the camera again that you'd be coming in to make the tackle stop stop there all three in the camera right what i'm seeing a lot in the minute at the minute in the nrl is this kind of scenario I saw it with penrith and i've seen it with quite a few other clubs the spacings are actually really wide, so when I talk on the live feed about the spacings being out, this is what I mean. This video is hopefully showing you the difference that all that my blue shirt pumper has to do now is isolate one man that he can have an initial contact on, and obviously he'd pick Phoenix as a smaller one, and then Connor and Zach would come in late, and their collisions would come in from the side. But I think it's really obvious, hopefully it's obvious to you behind the camera as well, that Punga's going to find it easily to get himself on the floor there from that, a lot easier. Particularly if he gets a good first collision on there. That's what I say when I'm talking about spacings.